Davis. Paul George, he was going to be a focal point in this game. Ditto, Josh Smith off to free agency this summer. Interesting. This is a little bit of that two-man game we talk about with Horford and Josh. Well, they did a good job, and you can see Josh Smith kicking it out. I mean, Al Horford kicking out to Josh Smith, standstill jump shot. They, they got off to a really good start to Atlanta Hawks, but what the Pacers did, they started to settle down, and you can see David West drawing the attention. you got to come down and double or dig it out. He threw it to George Hill, and he had a fantastic game, 18 points and also hit three threes. Strong then, start, yeah, five for five. Pacers pushing the basketball, George, and he flips it over to Lance Stevenson, and Stevenson... A lot of emotion there, trying to get the crowd up on their feet. Part of a 13-2 pace to run. Tyler Hansbrook, Psycho T, running the floor. <laughs> strong finish. Well, after this, Larry drew a strong message to his team about shot selection. Well, it was our shot selection. You know, we got out to a great start. Uh, then we start settling for jump shots. So we can't do that, particularly in this building. Nope, you can't settle for that. So Josh backing his way down on West and the left-handed hook. Well, they didn't shoot the basketball bad, but Coach Larry Drew talked about shot selection. He means they were just taking a lot of jump shots because they didn't get to the free throw line. They need, they need more plays like this where they can score inside that paint. Yeah, Al had a dozen in the first half, but a quiet second half. And then George Hill continuing to shoot the ball well. He was 6 of 7 in the first half and 15 points for the Pacers. Back to Josh. Driving, loses it in the air. George ahead to Lance Stevenson. you got to get back. Yeah, you do. And... and <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you know, or you got guys chin doing, doing chin-ups on the ball. On the rim. <laughs> That's true. Under seven left of the half. George on Ivan Johnson in the paint scores the scoop and one. Frank Vogel, he wants the killer shot. Well, they look like they're fading. They, they look like they're ready to give us a game if we smash them right now. Okay, we got to smash them right now. Smash mouth basketball, guys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and he said right now. Right now. Big Roy Hibbert inside, and then Paul George and Lance Stevenson showing up in this game. Well, Lance Stevenson has done has been a bright spot for the Indiana Pacers. We talk about Paul George, but Paul George moved to the three, and Lance Stevenson has done a good job of playing the two. And look at this move mm. by Paul George. That's big time. We talked about the triple-double, the first since May of 98 when Mark Jackson had one against the Knicks. Oh! oh now the Hawks shoving back. Uh -uh. No. Paul George tracked that down. It's a, a la LeBron James chase down. Hmm, sure is. Slapping that off glass. But the Hawks scrapping back. Devin Harris, Deshaun Stevenson for three. And now the lead is only eight for homestanding Indiana. David West. Talk about smashing it. He tried to. Working inside. Guys all over the floor. Stevenson comes up with it. Flip to West. And in. I thought the Pacers had more energy than the Hawks this game, throughout the course of this game. David West went down with an ankle injury, came back. Psycho T got in there and continued to bring that energy. And Stevenson, a driving layup, 101 86 there. And the final 107 to 90. As we said, all five Pacer starters in double figures, led by Paul George, who had the triple double 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 12 assists.